Greetings and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host Ace, and today we're looking at something a little bit more obscure. Return Fire 2. Released in 1998 as the sequel to the then surprise hit that was the 1995 release of the original Return Fire, Return Fire 2 has the player taking control of six different vehicles in an epic game of Capture the Flag, with the PC exclusive sequel featuring not only massive maps for players to fight on, but also 16 player online multiplayer as well as four player split screen. Unfortunately, out of the box, this game does not run particularly well on modern hardware, so let's get started. Now first of all I should mention that I am testing this on the physical copy of the game as no digital copies are available as of yet. In addition it is going to be run on a Windows 10 64 bit with a GTX 980. Our first step aside from installing the game itself is to download and install Inglide. Once that's done use your search bar to type in Inglide and make sure that the settings are configured in the manner that you see here. Next step, go to this website and download the three map packs for Return Fire 2 as well as the 1.2 patch. Both map packs 2 and 3 are zip files and so you will need to extract the contents from within both into your maps folder, which itself is found within the data folder of the game's directory. Once that's done, head back to the game's main directory and right click on rfire2.exe and click properties. From there, click the compatibility tab. Now press the change settings for all users button. Now make sure that the game is running in Windows 98 mode, as well as running as admin as shown here. Now click on the change high DPI settings button and make sure to check the high DPI scaling override check mark and that it's set to application. Once this is done, click OK three times. Finally, go back to the game's directory and open vidsetup.exe. Make sure that 3DFX Glide is selected as shown here and click OK. Congratulations, if you've done everything correctly, then your copy of Return Fire 2 will not only be playable, but it will be playable at your native resolution as well. I should mention, however, that you may want to adjust the game's controls setup. In addition, an issue I've discovered is that the game's soundtrack will stop playing once the player dies in-game. Fortunately, this can be mostly fixed if you go into the game's sound options and have them set up in the manner that I am displaying here. So there you have it, we've successfully got Return Fire 2 to run on modern hardware. This has been Ace, hope to see you guys again soon. Take care, ASAP.